So I'm a big proponent of all new technologies. I'm agnostic on whatever, whatever's going to make life better. I'm all in support of. And if electric vehicles are better, I'm more than happy to drive them. But we also have to be honest and realistic about where they're at in that technology adoption curve, where they're at in terms of the superior performance or the issues. And the reason why the government and all of these policies, like you're seeing this happen at both the EPA at the federal level, at state level, you're seeing states say, we will be um, X number, X percent of electric vehicles by 2030 or 2035, like all these goals. And each state obviously is nuanced and has slightly different numbers. But that's, you know, you look at California, you look at states around the East Coast, that's what they're doing. They're saying by X year, we're going to have X number of electric vehicles instead of consumers just adopting them because they're better, because obviously people want to buy better cars. So the, the reason why these policies exist is all around reducing CO2 emissions. I mean, they're not the, all the reasons they're giving the tax credits and all these incentives supposedly is saying we want to reduce CO2 emissions and we want to reduce our reliance on oil, right? We want to reduce fossil fuels and oil consumption. Well, this is a really good opportunity to educate folks because if every single car in the United States was an electric vehicle tomorrow, our oil consumption would not decrease. Our oil consumption globally would actually be going, likely go up because most people don't understand how gasoline is actually produced. So when you take a barrel of oil, you actually are making a bunch of products out of it, right? You're for about 43% in the US of a barrel of oil actually is the gasoline component, but you're making diesel fuel, you're making jet fuel, you're making asphalt, you're making all kinds of petrochemicals, you're making all these products. But the way that you distill a barrel of oil is using heat. You separate out all these products using heat. Well, the high heat is for the, the basically the thicker hydrocarbon chains, things like, you know, you got to break down that asphalt and diesel and those things require more heat and things like gasoline, less heat. So that basically means that you can't reduce your consumption of gasoline by, um, by just getting, by cutting your amount of oil, because you're going to need all the diesel fuel still, right? Because until, unless you can reduce diesel and jet fuel and asphalt, you're not going to be able to produce less gasoline because gasoline is basically a, a waste byproduct. They used to, in the olden days, they used to like dump it in rivers and burn it and try to get rid of it because you have to produce gasoline if you're going to create jet fuel or you're going to create diesel. So if that's the case, then ultimately we're still going to be creating gasoline, right? Even We're not going to reduce our demand for oil, even if we went to all these electric vehicles. Now we might burn less gasoline in the U.S., but what would ultimately happen is we'd have all this gasoline. We'd have like 135 billion gallons of gasoline in the U.S. just sitting there. What are we going to do with it? Well, they're not going to dump it in rivers, obviously. So they're going to sell it and they're going to sell it to the developing world. And it's going to decrease the cost. And if the cost is decreased, that means that more people can afford to drive, which I think is would be a good thing. But ultimately, you're going to increase emissions and all that equipment, all the mining that would be required to to create all those electric vehicles, because electric vehicles require about six times the amount of minerals in a gas car. So you got to go mine all that stuff. You got to dig all that stuff out of the ground. You got to basically transport it, process it, all of that stuff. That takes diesel fuel. So you're going to increase the need for diesel fuel. Well, if you're increasing the need for diesel fuel, you're going to create, you need more oil. So you're not getting right. rid of oil by going to electric vehicles. So it's just it's just an illustration or example of how complicated both the global supply chain and these energy topics are. It's not just wave a magic wand and everyone has electric vehicles and you're going to decrease oil consumption or emissions. Because I would argue if we did that tomorrow, we would not decrease oil consumption globally and we'd potentially increase global emissions.